this is more or less about grass-fed beef. Uh, most of us that are small farmers, and we've got about 31, we do grass-fed. Our cows are whole, they're natural, and they're straight off the grass. There's a thing about that, though. If they come straight off the grass, then they have a, they're very lean. They're so lean that you have to use some type of oils to cook them in, but they're better for you. You know, you can use coconut oil. Uh, there's a number of things, but people never come to the farms hardly. And because they really want that soft beef and yet they want grass fed beef. And the two just aren't possible not unless you grow your own grains because I'm going to put in a couple of charts here that kind of show you about what the beef industry is doing right now. And we sell to places called livestock barns. Livestock barns, in turn, some go to the regular farmers out there looking for other bloodlines, but a lot go to feedlots. Feedlots are not very healthy. Uh, as you can see, they're maintained as far as food goes, but what the quality of food? This ended up being what, what you know we get. This is right here. It's a fairly current market. There's going to be what you pay when you get in the store. But are you really getting grass fed? I don't think so. The only truly way you know you have of getting grass fed and knowing you're getting grass fed is to go buy it directly from the farmer. And that's really about it. As the prices drop, most of us that have grown up doing this since we were kids, the younger people, they're not wanting to get into this because there's really no money in it. It's more of a tax write-off nowadays. But it's something that if it's not in your blood, you're probably not apt to do. For at least the last 50 years that I know of, most of us have had other jobs plus came home and farmed. It's not just the beef farmers that took a lick, it's in every aspect of farming. As corporate slowly works and takes over, dairy, crops, just about every aspect of farming is gone today. One sure way I tell people, look at the grocery stores being built and the distribution centers being built and the corporate farms, how they're run. And then look at American farms, family farms. Do you see any new barns being built? or how they're not. And there's a good reason for that. Read this and it'll explain a lot. Despite what you've been told or what you may hear, this is not a picture of a family farm. And we know that this, that this didn't happen, but it should have. For some of you, this is probably the first time you've ever heard any of this. And there's a really, really good reason why you haven't heard a lot of this, as some of these pictures will show you. Some of these you may actually have to pause it to read all that's in it and to digest it, because all of it is important for your health. And I might add, for your kids and your grandkids, and the other family members. This was on the co-op stores that were at one time owned by farmers. In the price, why should this matter? This is another point. Most of the cow pictures up here were mine, but I, in looking for other pictures, I ran across these which are not related to the cattle, but they brought back a lot of memories. I grew up about everybody here in the South that lived in the country did this. And some people in the city came out and did it for extra money. My patch was about two and a half acres. I miss it sometimes, and sometimes I don't. One final thing is I would encourage you to read this Farms Not Factories. Family farms are very much opposed to factory farms. The cruelty, the nastiness, the lack of being in touch with nature it's just a whole different thing. But one thing I didn't realize was Smithfield. They have moved towards, they're wanting to be a global company and they pretty well are a global company now. And they're monopolizing the market. 
uh, everywhere they go, they're just dominating it. Just, so that might be uh, something that you want to look into. In Romania, Smithfield is known for the high volumes of dead pigs that had to be disposed of after the outbreak of swine fever in 2007 caused the death of 67,000 pigs in a variable stench that overwhelmed the residents of Romanian town, I can't pronounce that, from decomposing hog carcasses that were left lying in the fields for 10 days after dying in the heat wave. Um, you know, that might be something you want to look at. I know it's, we usually buy our hog meat from other people, but we bought Smithfield in the past, so we won't be buying them no more. If you think you're paying high now, just wait, because once the family farms are done, you'll eat what they serve you how they serve you, and at what price they wish to serve it at. 